Yeah, I still got these goddamn allergies. It sucks. But you know what doesn't suck? The 365 vlog. Let's go. Hello, people. Today is May 1st, 2016, day 122 of the 365 vlog. And we're going to talk about competition again. So first of all, my day was pretty simple. I was at home working on videos as usual, getting everything ready to put it out in like massive waves. And it was cool, chilled out, played some video games. And then later in the day, I turned on the playoffs. And this is all about like the playoffs in basketball. And I've been noticing a trend that really is boring to me about the playoffs this season. Now, with the exception of a few matches, Honestly, overall, a lot of the matches I've been watching seem very one-sided now. Maybe that's an overgeneralization of a couple of matches that I have watched, but the matches that I have watched haven't been interesting for the most part, at least the ones that I've tuned in that I care about. Either watching the Spurs or Golden State, like those last couple of matches I've been watching have been too one-sided. Now, I'm a competitive person, and usually I'll root for the team that I enjoy, that I want to win. However, I hate, 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 hate a beatdown. Nothing is more boring than a one-sided match unless I hate the other team or person that's playing in the competitive event. But nonetheless, no matter who it is, I generally want to see a good match between two highly skilled people. I don't want to see someone just get beaten to the dirt like it's nothing, like it's easy, like what's the point of watching the game when it's pretty much over? I honestly feel like there should be some type of mercy rule in basketball, at least after the last couple of games I've been watching, when you have at least 100 plus points in the third quarter, the game is over, uh, and you're down by like 34, the game is over, there's no coming back from that unless you are godlike, and obviously for you to get to that point, you fucking suck, and for them to let you get back to where they are, they must have just like broke all their ankles along the way, because that's not going to happen like that. But that brings me back to competition. What I really do enjoy though when there's a competitive sport going on is when a match is close. So close it puts you on the like edge of your seat and you don't know what's going to happen because it's so close and the last couple of seconds are all that really matter or just like the last couple of points or however this whatever the sport is. We're going to talk about basketball but mainly any sport that is just like competitive and close to the edge is really good because it entertains me. Can you imagine just watching a match that you know is already over at the beginning? Can you imagine that you spent all that money to sit in that chair to go watch a match that pretty much is over from the start? I mean, yay, your team won, but you didn't really get to see a match. You got to see a beatdown. And it's even worse when they're both two like all-star teams or players like, and just one person beats the other person. I feel like it's more interesting if each match is really close and they're more well-balanced. I would rather see a match between two people of a similar skill than two people of a higher tier skill versus maybe like a lower tier person to get beat down or two higher tier people and one person beats out the other each each and every other way and it's not interesting that way because I want to have a good time watching the match I want to like I said be on the edge of my seat so that's just some of my thoughts on competitiveness and how I think overall a competitive game can be better if matched up with the right people and people bringing the right skills. You can't bring the right skills every day, of course, but when you're watching a match as me just a spectator, these are some of the things I'm looking for to make it interesting or else I'm just gonna be bored and change the channel because there's no point in watching someone getting beat down. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed my thoughts about competitiveness and one-sided matches. Something that I've just been noticing from watching the playoffs and I hope that it changes it gets a bit more interesting as we get towards the finals. But if you made it to the end of this video and you enjoyed what I had to say about competitiveness and you agree in some form of way, don't hesitate to hit that like button. And also if it's your first time seeing my face, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button because I make new videos every day. But tell me guys, what do you think about competitiveness, one-sided matches, do you not care? Do you just want your team to win and that's pretty much it? Or do you like a nice little close match showing some skills? I don't know, tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. But yeah guys, I'm Vandal. Don't forget to keep it 365 and I'll talk to you tomorrow with another video. Peace. Bye. Such as working out, drawing more. I'm getting better at drawing more, but I just need to draw more nonetheless across the board. I have another YouTube channel that talks about anime.